Hey everyone, it's Erica and I'm back with another chatty art video today. I hope you're having an amazing day and that you're staying inspired even though life can get so crazy busy. Just take a deep breath, focus on the things that actually matter, stay positive and remember that everything is going to be okay. And I'm telling you this probably because it's what I have to hear myself right now. Okay, moving on. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a time lapse for one of the watercolor illustrations I created as part of the September calendar I'll be sending out to my amazing newsletter subscribers in a few days. I'll be sharing everything from the beginning washes of color all the way to the final details, so make sure to stay tuned if you're interested in seeing my process. And hey, if this is your first time visiting my channel, consider subscribing because every single Friday I share a new video about art tips, drawing and painting tutorials, and general encouragement for beginner and intermediate artists. I would love to have you here as part of this growing community. And also, make sure to click on that little notification bell button so that YouTube can let you know whenever I publish a new video because if you don't do that, you may or may not find out about it. Okay, so getting back to this specific watercolor illustration that you're watching me work on right now, at the end of each month, I think of a group of items inspired by the following month. And then I look up references and create illustrations with them that I later on use as part of a calendar design. I then send out these calendars at the end of each month to my newsletter subscribers together with more helpful art content. My newsletter subscribers get immediate access to my exclusive Facebook group in which I am present almost every single day, give free live art classes, and they also get opportunities for one-on-one -on -one direct tutoring from me. So if this sounds like something that you could be interested in, make sure to subscribe to my list by clicking on the link that I'm going to be leaving down below in the description box. I also use some of these illustrations to create awesome patterns and cool designs that I then place on different products over at my Redbubble and Society6 shops. So I'm gonna be leaving links to those down below in the description box so you can also go and check that out if you wish. And by the way, related to this, I am kind of curious if any of you guys out there are at a point at which you are wanting to sell, start to sell your work online. And if you'd be interested in kind of knowing the process that I go through to scan and digitalize my, my artwork so that I can then create designs with them. So if you'd be interested in this topic and me creating a tutorial about this, let me know so I can make it happen. I want to give you guys a quick tip today that actually came up in a live class that I had over at my Facebook group a couple of weeks ago, I think. And it's, it's to be intentional with your studies and your art practice. So what I mean by this is instead of sitting there and waiting for inspiration to come to you or kind of automatically trying to scroll Pinterest or even Instagram in order to get ideas to work from. Focus on your own work. So make time to analyze your own strengths and weaknesses and what you particularly want to learn. And then you can go ahead and look for those specific tutorials and actually commit to that particular technique or subject or medium and keep practicing for a while. It's only until you practice for a bit that you start to see improvement. In the beginning, especially if you are self-taught, it can be extremely difficult to know what you should be practicing when. And I totally get how it can be so distracting to constantly be looking at these amazing artworks by all of these different talented artists. And you get so distracted that you're working on one thing one day and then you kind of get frustrated with yourself because you're, you're not able to do it. And then the next day you want to try out something completely different. And by jumping around so much, so aimlessly with no specific goal in mind, you're gonna make it super difficult on yourself and it, it's gonna take you a lot longer to actually get somewhere. All of this said, I think it's also super important to have in mind if you're just starting out yourself, 
that it's extremely important to be practical and realistic and also make it easier for yourself by focusing on art fundamentals in the beginning before attempting to do more complex artworks that are just gonna frustrate you and perhaps even make you want to quit. So please, 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 if you're a beginner just starting out with your art and you are really trying to take it seriously, invest the time in learning and practicing art fundamentals like value, form, shape, space, texture, color, etc. and build that solid foundation for yourself. So as I said before, be intentional with your art practice, be practical about it and take it step by step. You're gonna start seeing how each solid step that you take leads to more and more confidence and you're gonna be able to approach more and more complex subjects as you go along. Art isn't easy, guys, and I think most of us that are already skilled or at least partially skilled at it will be able to tell you that it's as much about those simple sketches and going back to the basics as it is about creating those beautiful, finalized, large masterpieces that wow everyone. It's just that most of the time, artists don't show you those simpler, messy explorations and more tedious practice that they do. Okay, so that is it in terms of my impromptu tip of the day. If any of you have any specific routine or thing you do in order to ensure that you are achieving consistent artistic progress, please leave me a comment below so that we can all know about it. That is it for today, guys. I am going to leave you now to enjoy the rest of this time lapse and I'm going to make sure to leave the links to all the different products that I used to create this painting today down below in the description box. If you are on the lookout for some watercolor painting supplies and you want to check out the supplies that I particularly use, you can use those links and you'll be helping me out a tiny bit at no extra cost to you so that I can continue producing these videos for you.
Okay, everyone, so thank you so much for watching my video. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Stay tuned because I have a ton of new tutorials coming up. Follow me on social media so you can see what I'm up to on a daily basis. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you around next Friday.